In today's video, I'm going to show you how the recording function in AUM works, how to edit your audio files in AudioShare, and how you can use the file player to make loops out of anything that you record. So I've got a beat in Core Gadget, and I'm just going to record something over it and then show you how to load the audio back in and loop it. So I'll quickly record a synth part now. Okay, so there was a little bit of latency there, but that's not going to be a problem. Right, so what's actually happened to the audio I've just recorded? Unlike a DAW, the audio I've recorded isn't there in front of me, and if I press play now, I won't be able to hear my audio either. So where is the clip that I just recorded? Well. It's been exported as an audio file, and I can find it by opening the menu and going into the files folder. So this is all of the audio that I've recorded in AUM, and at the bottom here is the clip that I've just recorded, and I can now play it back. I want to make this clip into a loop. But as you've probably noticed, there's silence at the beginning and end of the clip, and I'll need to cut this out. However, I'm not actually able to edit my audio directly inside of AUM. To do this, I'm going to have to use AudioShare, which is another Chimatica app. And I can get into AudioShare easily by just tapping the AudioShare icon underneath where all of my audio files are listed. Cool, so I'm in AudioShare now, and I can navigate around my files on the left here, and these are all the files that we were looking at in AUM earlier, so I'll just go to the bottom and find the correct clip, and I'll play that to make sure that I've got the right audio file. Excellent, so that's the audio file that I wanted. Now what I want to do is trim this clip down so it's four bars long, and I can then loop it in AUM. If I go to Tools in the top right of the screen, some editing options will appear, and I can turn on a grid at the correct tempo and edit the clip down. I can also loop the audio and check if I've trimmed it correctly. Okay, so that sounds good. Now I'm just going to tap save in the top right and Audio Share will now save my edited audio file as a new audio file. Now I can just jump back over to AUM, load in my audio file, and create a loop. So I'm going to go into the file player now and find my trimmed audio file and load it in. And I want it to loop. So I'll turn on loop, and I want to sync it to the tempo of my AUM project, so I'll turn on sync. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'll play the gadget drum beat and the loop together. And there you go. That's how you can use the record function, audio share, and file player to build your own loops in AUM. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for the next video in our AUM tutorial series.